Hey everyone, welcome back to the Triathlon Weekly News Roundup presented by thefeed.com. So sorry this episode is coming to you so late in the week, but I think a lot of you know why I might be a little behind schedule. I'm so excited to share all about the website and triathlon fantasy with you in a bit. But we first got to dive into the massive news that WTCS Abu Dhabi was canceled. I just could not believe it. Thankfully for me, I saw the news right before I went to bed, so I didn't have to wake up so early to watch it. It was canceled due to adverse weather conditions, severe thunderstorms and risk of flooding. And judging by Hayden Wild's story, it looks like they made a pretty good call. It was actually a joint call from the local organization committee, the Abu Dhabi Sports Council and also World Triathlon. And it came after the National Emergency Crisis and Disaster Management Authority of Abu Dhabi announced all activities outdoors from Friday, March 8th to Sunday, March 10th are to be canceled. I am so gutted about this because those start lists were stacked if you didn't see. And there were so many athletes who needed this race for Olympic points, trying to up their rankings. And I am sure for a lot of athletes, the heat just got turned up a couple extra degrees because now there's pretty much just two main big races before the Olympic qualification window closes on May 27th. And both those races are in May at Yokohama and Cagliari. So really keep a close eye on how this affects that race for the Olympics. Try 247 did an awesome article on how important Abu Dhabi was. And if you didn't read that, I would definitely check that out. I feel so bad for a lot of those athletes who made that trip all the way out there and had such high expectations and really wanted to get their season started with a bang. I really wish they could just hold another race in like a week from now and try and give them that opportunity. Joe Skipper even did comment on World Triathlon's post saying, could they not just hold the elite races or reschedule to tomorrow? But World Triathlon did actually try and get a secure and closed venue, but unfortunately it wasn't possible given the need of the region to get ready for the adverse weather conditions. So just terrible news over there in Abu Dhabi and uh, yeah, really feeling for all those athletes. But we can change gears to a much more positive one because the T100 in Miami is still going ahead and I'll actually be doing a live watch along for on the channel as well with Brent. So do come watch with us, hang out, join in on the chat for some banter and let's have a good time. But it has been quite a roller coaster ride it feels like to get to here, to get to this point before the start of the race. Uh, half of the women now who are contracted aren't lining up to race with Anne Howe being the latest big name to pull out and then Javier Gomez as well pulling out Murphy's Law because I wrote an article about him on the website and you know I'm a little sad but also on the same side this has given a lot of opportunities to some new faces to make a big name for themselves and prove to us why they deserve to be on this T100 tour. I am looking at on the women's side, really watching closely Lucy Buckingham. She is a powerhouse in the swim and the bike, dying to watch how she goes on the run. And then on the men's side, I'm really going to be watching Yuri Kulin closely here who had some really good results at the end of last fall. And I think he could again make a big name for himself here. Aside from those wild cards, I am looking at Daniela Reef because she announced her retirement and she looks still hungry and still motivated. If you didn't watch the PTO's behind the scenes video, she said she really wants to win a T100 race. And you know, it looks like she's been putting in a really good winter training block. So I think she could do really well. And then on the men's side, I think a real dark horse that no one's talking about is Bradley Weiss, a South African triathlete who you might remember from being Jan's training partner, leading up into the Ironman World Championship, and just before that as well, leading into Milwaukee. I think he is now a front pack swimmer, and he could really perform well here. I know he's all in on this, and I'm excited to see how he goes. And finally, I have to throw in Sam Long, because he just did that race against Lionel in the 1500 meter uh, long course swimming meet, which he lost to Lionel actually, but he believes his swim is in the right position where it needs to be to be competitive. So I think Sam is such an interesting to watch here, and I saw a lot of people picking him for the win here on home soil in the US. But let's talk about the course map for just a second because 
you need to keep an eye out on that Aussie swim exit they have in there again after the first lap. That can make a huge difference in the swim. It can split groups apart. Some people are really good at Auss Aussie exits. Some people are really not. And then the bike course is much more technical and hard than people think and it's taken out people before. And it's also really hot and humid down there on the run. So keep an eye out on some people possibly crumbling. But here are my picks overall. It was so, so hard to choose. But if you notice, these are my triathlon fantasy picks. So I've got to tell you all about that real quick. The new website, dailytry.com. For you guys, the fans, we wanted to bring you the professional website where you could come and follow everything about the pros, all the organizations. We've got news, previews and reviews, a fully up-to-date calendar. We've got rankings that update. We've got so much more on there tucked in, pro videos, podcasts, but most importantly for I think a lot of people, triathlon fantasy. And yeah, you've still got time to make your picks if you haven't already, head there right now. And if you are the winner of the T100 Fantasy, you will receive a pair of Form Smart Swim goggles, courtesy of Form, of course. So please do head over there, check it out. Thank you to everybody who sent encouraging messages or feedback or advice or ideas. It really has just been a special time for me this week because this has always been my dream, like I said, and I just can't wait to keep making it better and keeping this going throughout the season. We do have season long leaderboards for the T100 races, WTCS races, as well as the Ironman Pro Series right now. And uh, yeah, you can join leagues, compete against your friends, see what they pick. Um, yeah, it's just such an exciting time and please do let me know if you love it. I'd love to hear it. Let me know if you hate it as well and if there's some things you'd like to change or see on there. But we can dive into the quick news headlines from this week so I can keep you all filled in. One big headline I saw was Flora Duffy was coming back. A great podcast that has just started up from Chelsea Burns from Pro Tri News. You might remember her. She had Flora Duffy on there and it was amazing to listen to. I don't want to spoil it too much. You should go listen to it. But Flora finally went on there and cleared the air a little bit for all of us wondering what's been going on. She hasn't raced in over a year. She said she almost retired, which would have been so tragic, but thankfully she is back at it and we should see her on a start line soon. That's just great news to hear from her. Definitely check the one, that one out. She also gives her perspective on her middle distance and long distance racing career and the T100. But then also another big piece of news came out from Super Try, who put out an official statement saying that they supported what British Triathlon CEO said that he wants to see PTO, Super League, all the big organizations get together and have what he calls a fixtures meeting and say what are the calendar and the schedules looking like and agree on some principles that are fundamentally about the athlete's best interest. And they said Super Tri that they support and echo these views. And they wanted to take the first stance on it and say that they are open to it and they also said they must take this opportunity to align ourselves for the greater good of triathlon if it is to fulfill its incredible potential. And that's going to be my hot question for you guys this week because I've always called for it. I've always said I would love the organizations to get together and make it easier for new fans to follow the sport. That was half of the motivation for this website. But yeah, I'm just dying to know if you have any counter arguments to this or why you think they haven't done it before in the past. Just let me know your opinion on it down below. I think it could be a fascinating discussion. Another big piece of news I'm sure you saw already is Race Ranger is now part of the Iron Man Pro Series. I think this is so good. I think a lot of us are just wondering how are they going to officiate this? Are they going to let us know the exact criteria for how they're going to give out penalties and so much more like that. So yeah, dying to know more about that, but I think that's fantastic. But then the last piece of news comes from T100 as well. And this is from an article out of Sky News that shared that the PTO is looking to get another $40 million worth of investment because some people were interested in backing them. And I just thought it was a great article. Great to hear that more investors are looking to get into the sport. But I do think the one thing they won't be happy with with that article is that Colin Chartier was used as one of the main images in it. Still a good article and I think very positive. But that's it for this week. But I have to leave you with the humor of the week and that is Steve McKenna 
shaving a frullet haircut. He promised to do it after he won Ironman New Zealand and he stayed true to it. I just can't believe it. His poor wife. I thought it was hilarious though and this sport definitely needs more Steve McKenna's. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure to head to dailytry.com. Make those fantasy picks. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.